Hello, hello everyone. Hello, Shuki, how are you? Well, I'm very well. Just look what I got from my friend. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a gift. Yes, it's my gift. And it's not even my birthday. She just said she wants to be gracious to me and she felt like giving me a gift. Oh, that's nice. Can we open it? No, it's my gift. I'm going to open it when I want to. Oh, please, maybe there's chocolates inside. Or maybe you got a new set of earrings. Or a tennis ball. I don't think my friend will give me a tennis ball. Or a rugby ball. No, a rugby ball will not fit in that this gift. Anyway, I'm going to put away my gift and I'm going to tell you about the greatest gift that we have ever received. Oh, what is that? Uh, is, is, is that a bicycle? No. Is that a computer game? No. The greatest gift you and I can ever receive is the forgiveness of God for all our sins. The Bible says God has forgiven us because He's a gracious God. Oh, what does gracious mean? It means God gives us what we do not deserve. In Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9 it says, By grace... We are saved, but by grace we are saved, and that is through faith, and that is through faith. It is a gift of God. It is a gift of God, and we do not deserve it. And we do not deserve it. We cannot work for it. We cannot work for it. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me try again. By grace are we saved through faith, it, not by works, it is a gift of God that no one can think is better than anyone else. Oh, you are so clever. Ephesians 2 teaches us that God is a gracious God and He gives even to people who don't deserve it. He gives a lot of grace by giving them food and clothes. Yes, a lot of things, but especially forgiveness. And there was a man we read about in the history books and his name was Mr. or Captain John Newton. Uh, was he a pirate? Well, almost like a pirate, but not a real pirate. No, he was a captain on an English ship and he was transporting a lot of things, goods and food and people. But deep down in that ship, uh, what was there? There were some slaves. Uh, slaves are people in the olden days who were taken captive and taken to other countries. Yes, you're right, you remember well. And then they were sold there and they had to work very hard and didn't get any money. Yes, that was very terrible. But fortunately that doesn't happen anymore. I hope there's no more slaves or people who are sold as slaves because that's terrible. But John Newton, he, he had a lot of slaves. Yes, he transported them from the islands to England and to other countries. And then one day, what happened? A big storm came upon the sea and it was tossing the boat to and fro. And he was very much afraid. Yes, he was so afraid. He thought they were going to die. And then he saw something. What did he see? He saw people praying and singing on the ship and he realized there must be a God. And did he pray? Yes, maybe for the first time in his life he prayed. He said, dear God, if you take away the storm, I will serve you for the rest of my life. Uh, I can guess what happened. What happened? And the storm subsided and he gave his heart to Jesus. Exactly, that's what happened. And he was very glad, but did he still take the slaves to the countries? No, he did not take the slaves to the countries. That's the most wonderful thing that happened. He felt so guilty. He felt so bad about his sin. But he discovered that God is gracious and God forgives all our sins. Because he's a gracious God. Yes, because he's a gracious God. And then he wrote the most beautiful song. The song's name after a hundred years is Amazing Grace and it's still being sung just about every week in some of the churches and in the homes. Uh, is it the Amazing Grace that I know? I think so. Amazing, that one. Yes, that one. Can, can I please sing it? I did not know that Mr. John Newton wrote the song. Well, after so many years, we still sing the song with him. And remember, he was a slave trader or a transporter of slaves. And God is so gracious that he forgave him. And God will forgive me as well? 
Yes, God will forgive you because he is a gracious God. I want to sing the song now. That makes much more sense to me. So thank you, Mr. 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 Uh, uh, what's your name again? Mr. Newton for writing this beautiful song. I'm going to sing it now. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was he blind? No, he was not really blind, but because he didn't see God's goodness and graciousness, he did a lot of sin. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad I learned today that God is gracious. I hope all of you will remember that God is a gracious God. He will give you more than you deserve and he will forgive all your sins for by grace you are saved. Oh, thank you, House Mouse, for joining us today. All of you, thank you for joining us to learn who God is. God is gracious and He will always be gracious. Remember to like and subscribe and share this video if you want your friends also to know this lovely story of Mr. Newton and this beautiful song that House Mouse sang to us. Thank you. I'm glad you like my song. I always like your songs, House Mouse. So anyway, from my side, may you have a blessed day. Goodbye.